What does these two men have to do with Cubism? Let's take a look at what Cubism is and how it came about. By the end of the video you will have all these answers and more. See you, on the other side. Sunday Painter. Please click and subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget the little bell so you will be the first when we have an inspirational idea. Cubism was founded in Paris by Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque between 1907 and 1910. The artists used sharp lines, fragmenting the images to create unusual, abstract works. If you were to break up a sculpture and arrange the parts and painted them this is what you have. The main idea is to see a three-dimensional image on a two-dimensional plane. To see all sides of the subject at the same time. The movement was short-lived, being mainly brought to an end with the outbreak of World War I in 1914. The Cubists took Fauvism a step further. The Fauvists wanted to scrap everything and return back to basic, simple art. They used flat patterns, distorted images and bright blocks of color. Fauvist is French for wild beast, for their violent approach to their art. The Cubists were also influenced by African art, in particular masks. By 1911 Picasso was recognized as the inventor of Cubism, while Brock's importance and precedence was argued later, with respect to his treatment of space, volume and mass. The most extreme forms of Cubism were not those practiced by Picasso and Brock, who resisted total abstraction. Some works became almost completely unrecognizable. The viewer has to concentrate harder to make out the composition. So what do we have? We learned the Cubist style emphasized the flat, two-dimensional surface of the picture plane, rejecting the traditional techniques of perspective, going against traditional art, and how art should imitate nature. Cubist painters were not bound to copying form, texture, color, and space. Instead, they presented a new reality in paintings that depicted radically fragmented objects. So there we have it. If you like the video and learned something, subscribe to my channel for more art informational documentaries. Thanks for watching.